What ruined New Jersey is that people don't get over shit. She's referring to her ex-friend Jackie Goldschneider and saying that season Jackie would not get over the fact uh, that the Evan cheating rumors and she went on and on and on about Evan cheating and girlfriend has to get over it. And, uh, you know, she is saying that because the fans say, well, uh, isn't Teresa a strong person? Isn't she a resilient person? She went to prison. And Margaret is saying, first of all, she had no choice but to go to prison. Well, I mean, that is true. When you're found guilty, you got to go to prison. You got to serve the time. Although nobody knows where Julie Chrisley, uh, Julie Chrisley is right now. So, um, is she on the run? Is she on the lamb? Where is Julie Chrissy? Chrisley? Um, I can't speak today because I'm hungover. But that Teresa is a strong person and is resilient. Well, Mar uh, Teresa, Margaret just gave you a compliment, girl. You want to give her a compliment back? But man, does that Teresa hold grudges? No shit, Margaret. So uh, she says that Teresa, listen, the Marge, you guys know my friend, the Sarge, Marge, the Sarge. She's kind of funny sometimes. Um, she said that Teresa beats the dead horse, drags it, takes it out back, uh, gives it CPR, and then kills it all over again. Funny stuff, Miss Josephs, but that Teresa holds a grudge. No shit. Teresa does hold a grudge. And Margaret said that that is um, in her opinion, the downfall of New Jersey, and that people don't want to hear about, you know, the Evan cheating rumor for the whole season and all the stuff that Teresa harps on. They want you to deal with something, have it for a few uh, episodes, and then get over it. Conflict resolution, conflict resolution. I agree with that. Um, remember the days when we had a whole season of Munchausen's and Lucy Lucy Apple Juice? Ah, the Rinna years of Beverly Hills. I can't wait for Beverly Hills to come back. I'll be honest with you. It's my favorite. I'll try to get excited about Potomac. I mean, and I will try to be excited about New York. And I'm going into Salt Lake with an open mind. I hope it's a great season of Salt Lake with the rumors and the nastiness. I love my Meredith. Hey, Lisa Barlow was just in New York for Fashion Week. It is Fashion Week. Everyone is... uh going crazy here about fashion week now margaret has also talked in this interview she compared uh talked about juicy our good friend juicy from the podcast here saying that uh she wasn't around for the juicy years but uh juicy has kind eyes i would agree with you juicy is uh juicy's a lovely man i really enjoy the juicer and uh it's so funny. I remarked months ago that I wanted to go down to the Bahamas um, when he fights Antonio Sabato and Sarah Frazier, our little Sarah Frazier, creating problems. She asked me the other day if I was uh, going down to the Bahamas. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did say that, didn't I? I would love to see that fight. Um, but that Juicy has kind eyes and Louie and that he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but uh, Juicy has kind eyes. Unlike Louis Raelius, who is evil to the bone and evil to the core. And that is the difference, that Louis is evil, 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 and Juicy is not. She also goes on to say that, you know, uh, what did she ever do wrong to Teresa? She says, uh, you know, I just brought up questions. I brought up the warrior video. I just told you, you might want to get ahead of this girl. I wasn't really coming for you. I wasn't really coming for Louis. I just basically said, don't you want to get ahead of this? Uh, don't, don't you want to get ahead of this? I'm losing my voice. And uh, she doesn't understand what the big deal is. And by the way, Teresa, pretty much everyone tried to warn you about Louis. And she then said, you know, you don't speak to your brother and Melissa anymore, which let's face it. That started a long time before Louie was there, but um, seems like that was the nail in the coffin. Now, it's not about me here behind the velvet rope, but when this first started and we talked about what dirty Johns do and what narcissists do, I mean, it is, I mean, didn't everyone watch Connie Britton and uh, Dirty John on Bravo? You infiltrate and you isolate that is what you do one by one by one so i mean didn't i say this was going to happen that that whole thing is isolation so yeah you had a problem with melissa and joe way before but now they are isolated 
Well, Margaret is saying he isolated you from everyone. She's saying Louie is probably the reason that you don't talk to Dina Manzo anymore, which we talked about here when that happened, that they were on the vacations together and Dina and Dave, I said it then and I will stand by it now. They saw something, Cancun, I think they were in Cancun, Mexico. They saw something and that is that was the beginning of the end they saw shady behavior and they said this ain't for us and that was the end of it i also heard some other things about some authorities and um you know that they were told that people are coming for Louis, which is what is kind of surfacing all the time about this whole Vinavia stuff, like all these ex-employees. And um, did I, t- I told you guys the story that I was in L.A. two weeks ago and I was walking down Hollywood Boulevard, which is some- kind of close to my home. And I was going to CVS and I look up and I see a deserted storefront with Vinavia. Like the windows were like basically shot out, which is a whole another thing about the state of New York City and the state of Hollywood uh, in LA, but don't get me started. I don't know if that was like the corporate office. Doesn't look like it. What well, corporate office is on Hollywood Boulevard, but it looked like some Vinavia thing. And like, it was like abandoned building. I just thought like I'm 3000 miles away from fucking New York and New Jersey. And like this man is stalking me. I don't know. It was one of those eerie things of like, I have to look up and see this out of everything. Anyway, that's not the point. She's saying Louis was behind the demise of the friendship with Dina, which, um, I mean, I do think they saw things when they went on vacation. And also, um, she's saying that she didn't really do anything to her and that Louis has programmed her to, uh, has programmed Teresa to hate her. So has Louis programmed Teresa to hate Margaret Josephs? Um, Probably, actually, I kind of, listen, there's a reason I was friends with the Sarge. I mean, she is the Sarge, it's her way or the highway, so that doesn't really work for me as a friend, but uh, the Sarge ain't, uh, she's smart and she's got, uh, she's got a lot of points, this Sarge at times, so I agree with you, Margaret. Hey, girl, we're getting along lately, uh, aren't we? So I, I agree with her. I do think Teresa was probably programmed by Louie to uh, hate the Sarge. Um, yeah. And she also says, and she has a good point, if it's everybody else, everybody else and everybody else, chances are the problem is you. So if everyone is basically like a problem for Teresa and Louie and everyone's against Louie and blah, 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 girl, there's probably something to it. So she has a point there as well. I'm going to give the Sarge a couple of, uh, I'm going to give the couple, I'll give her a couple of points on this one. Uh, she also says the problem with Teresa is she changed. She's not humble anymore. Well, I would agree with that too. Man, Sargy, Sarge, you are, we are just in sync these days. Uh, Alexis Bellino has recently spoken out and said, um, you know, that she is, uh, she's just sick of it. She's just sick of everyone having, uh, sympathy for Shannon and why is she the victim? And she's just in love and just, she's just sick of it. Um, mind you, Tamara has said that, uh, Alexis coming on the show is the best thing that ever happened to Shannon because we're not talking about, uh, your DUI anymore.